No, sir. Is your camera pointed towards the stage light? Because. Uh, no. I mean, it is, but it's private. Okay, I got six. Took a minute to connect. Stand by, we'll do Burn Nights video, and then RSM video, and then it will be Pastor David. Y'all count too fast. Hi, Wildwinds family. We are so glad you are with us for Wildwinds One minute, 50. And Pastor Kevin and I are here to invite you to something that we believe is going to be an extension of what is happening here right now this weekend. We don't want this move of God just to be contained to one weekend a year. We want to give you an opportunity to keep the fire burning, to keep engaged with the move of God, and to come see us again throughout the year of 2023. You know, the Bible says in the book of Hosea, the sixth chapter, the second verse, after two days, he'll revive us. The third day, he'll raise us up, that we may live in his sight. There's something about revival that is an invitation for you and I to live in a place of perpetual awakening. God doesn't just want us to have to move from revival to revival. He wants us to keep the fire burning. Devin and I and the leadership of our church have prayed, and there's something happening with burn nights here at Redemption to the Nation's Church. And it's going to be for everybody, but it's going to be geared to touch One sons minute and daughters. The next We've video. got some amazing people that we're connected to in the kingdom that are going to be coming and joining us for these burn nights. Worship's going to be deep. It's going to be powerful. I believe God's going to speak a word through these mighty men and women of God that are coming. But we want you to help us keep this fire burning, as Devin said, because there's something powerful happening in the generation of our sons and daughters, and we're not going to miss it. We want to facilitate it, and we want to see God do everything he wants to do yes. for them in this moment. So we're inviting you to join us for Burn Nights 2023 on Sunday nights right here at Redemption to the Nation's Church. We'll be meeting one Sunday night a month at 6 p.m. here just to take the lid off, take the parameters off, and let sons and daughters go after the glory in worship, intercession, so and prophetic declaration. So you can keep following us to see a You just turn your phone on and that will be record with it. Us. But the most important guest we want to see there is you. So make plans to join us for Burn Nights. Two minutes on video. 22 says the earth is crying out for the children of God to be revealed. This generation is crying out. We're crying out for hope. We're crying out for healing. And we're crying out for love. We believe at Redemption School of Ministry, the answer to the cries of this generation is living inside of you. Are you looking Go to the for background a where you can answer the call of God on your life? The logo. A place that will shape you and pour into you and give you opportunities to serve. Are you hungry for the more of the Lord? Are you looking for a place that is not just educational, but that will also bring transformation into your life? If so, then RSM is the place for you. It's more than a school, not just another program. It is a breeding ground for sons and daughters to be equipped in bringing glory into the world, to know who they are in Christ and to go into the world. RSM isn't just about those wanting to go What is this? Ministry. It's about the kingdom. Marketplace Hello. And more. We that okay. Okay, world, great. Awesome. Okay, is. thank you. At RSM, we believe in the transformational power of the presence of God. Whether it's in the classroom or in the main sanctuary, our main goal I'll is come out to the three. Of God. So One minute. Teachings, worship conferences you will be immersed into the culture of the kingdom the world is crying out they're crying out for change they're crying out for truth they're crying out for justice and we believe that the answer to the cries of this generation has a name love has a name peace has a name healing and hope has a name that name is jesus a redemption school of ministry kingdom is our culture at the redemption 30 seconds. school of ministry our vision is to equip sons and daughters of God so that they are demonstrating the power and the glory of Jesus in their life every day. Our applications are now open. Stand by three. Come and check us out. There'll the be a lobby. logo. We'd love to see you there. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and three is live. Stand by two. How many came expecting God to do wild things this weekend? Two, two's up. Well, let me tell you something. If you know anything about me, I don't like to say things I don't do. That is the ultimate definition of hypocrisy. So if we're going to have a conference and call it Wild Ones, we better expect wild worship in this place, wild pursuit of God. Ready, six. And how many believe God can do some wild signs, wonders, and miracles in our midst? How many are ready for Wild Ones 2023? Six. Ready, one. So our theme this year is release the dove. Shake the person next to you one. and say, release the dove. Was anyone able to be with me outside right before service when we release doves over this campus? Make some noise. Three. If you saw those beautiful Stand by doves, two. be released because I believe in doing something in the natural to demonstrate what God's going to do in the spirit. Two. So the dove has been a timeless symbol of the Holy Spirit. And we see the dove kind of enter the scene in the Bible in Genesis chapter 8 in the beautiful story of Noah's Ark. After the flood, after the judgment, Noah's kind of wondering, has the season changed? He's wondering, is, is this over and can I move to my next season? And he goes on that boat and he releases a dove. And I don't wish I could bring you up here for Bible trivia today. Three, the first time three. he released the dove, does anybody know what happened? The dove came back. I'm so glad somebody goes to Sunday school here. Stand by six. The dove came because the dove could not Six. find a resting place. And the word says that Noah waited seven more days and released the dove. And what did it come back with the next time? A branch, Two. a branch to let us know something was shifting in the atmosphere. Something was changing in the land. But the next time that Noah released the dove, did the dove come back? The dove didn't come back because any dove that takes flight has a destination. And that destination is called a resting place. And the third time that Noah released that dove, the dove did not return because the dove found a place that it could Stand rest, three. that it could be. And if you fast forward in scripture, three. all the way to Matthew chapter three, we find another dove release. This time it's not Noah, it's heaven. And Jesus is being baptized. And the word says that heaven releases Ready, one. And if you'll remember what I told you, any flying dove has one. a destination, and it's a resting place. And this dove flew down from heaven, and the Bible says it rested on Jesus. It didn't just visit him. The Bible says the dove Stand by six. Now, I'm here to tell you there are so many other stories about doves in Scripture, but if you fast forward to John chapter 2, Jesus six. is getting... He's left a wedding feast and he's passing by the temple and Jesus gets angry. Who knows that Jesus can get angry? Three. And Jesus was Stand angry by two. because he passed his father's house, he passed the temple, and it was in spiritual disarray. Two. Jesus looked at his father's house and prayer wasn't happening. Worship wasn't happening. He saw tables with money changers who were turning what was supposed to be holy into a profitable business. They were trying to sell what was supposed to be sacred. And Jesus got angry and he took a whip and he began to turn over the tables. He began to make a mess of what religion had done to the Come house three, of God. Three. He began to Stand destroy by five. what was a false sense of godliness, a form that denied the power he had had. And five. House, Stand by two. In anger, and he made what I like to call a holy mess. Look at your neighbor and say, she said a holy mess. Two. You're going to remember those two words because before Wild Ones is over this weekend, some of you are about to encounter a holy mess. And what the enemy tried to do in your life, what he tried to divert and change in your life, what the enemy has tried to construct to keep you out of the glory of God. Jesus in his jealousy for you is about to come in his glory and Step create three. a holy upheaval, a holy mess three. in your life. So he creates this holy mess and it says this, he drove out those who were caging and selling the dove. Those who had caged 
by three. chapter 3 and 20. Are you ready for some unplanned revelation tonight? It says this. Behold, Six, take your behold, ISO down one. I stand at the door and knock, yeah. knock, knock. Behold, Come to three. Behold, three. I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. If anyone hears my voice, if anyone hears my voice and will open, stand by open. Six. can't handle ugly. I'm telling you, hunger's not pretty. I sing ugly on purpose. I'm so tired of entertainment. I'm so tired of what's pretty. Do you think I care if it's not on key? Two. My heart is hungry. I pray an ugly singing anointing on this place tonight. He says, if anyone will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. And what Jesus Stand by three. Come on, three, three. Do you think it would be possible to just get the text and not the slides so that we could just put it native on our slides that we've already created? Is that possible? Yes. Is that cool? Okay. Five. So Wild Ones 2023, we Five. have come to release the dove in this house. We have come to open the door over this atmosphere. Come on, three, three. Ask Lord Jesus to come on in and be center stage. You didn't come to be entertained by worshipers. You didn't come to be entertained by preachers. And if you did, you're going to be disappointed. We came with one focus to see the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come on, two, two. Open the door and let it I hope we can try and time it to where, like, when she's done, we play it and it, like, so what they we play. Do and this moment, I'm going to give you the opportunity. I hope they're smart enough to do that. And this is what I heard the Spirit say. You tell them as they open their mouth. Come on, five, five. Near the ship of your life, and it's time to take the muzzle off sons and daughters. It's time to open your mouth and let hunger come out. And hunger's not always pretty. When my baby gets hungry, he's not pretty. He screams and he cries until his hunger is satisfied. And right here at the beginning of this conference, I'm gonna ask you to open your mouth with me as we open the door. 
10 by 3. Here we go, three, three. Here we go, five, five. Come to two. Stand by three. Three. Ready five. Five. Ready two. Two. Come to five, five. Go to one, one. Stand by five, five. Stand by three. Ready to two. Can you pause it? Pause it. Down to three, three. Ready, one, one. Hallelujah. I want you to take your neighbor by the hand all over this room right now. I want to tell you that revival is happening. It's not just going to happen. It's happening. And the prerequisite for revival is hunger. You will never have God feed you something you have not been asking heaven for. I know that there are people in this room tonight who came to catch a girlfriend, catch a boyfriend, catch somebody's phone number. You came for a lot of reasons. But I'm going to tell you, when I was 15 years old in a conference just like this, the Spirit of God stamped my heart with His glory, and I've never been the same since. I want you to know that the next 72 hours is getting ready to change the trajectory uh, of Can you just email it to you? Some of you need to hear me say that without the intervention that God is about to bring in the next 72 hours, um, you would wind up in a crack house. You might wind up in a whorehouse. You try to send it there to that one. To you'll probably you'll have to help them. Send it to that one, I think, and then this one's already connected through a network. So it should it shouldn't. Stand by three. And three. Stand by one. One. Stand by six. Six. Stand by three. You could just, is that the shared library? Yeah. 
Ready to? Two. Ready three. And three. Ready five. And five. Ready three. Three. Ready, five. Five. So two, he's not gonna move, so you'll just have to do little moves. Coming to two, two's up. Stand by one. One. Ready, six, and six. Stand by five. Five. Stand by three. Three. Ready one. One. Ready five. Five. Ready two. Two. Good job, good job. Ready, three. Three. Ready, five. Five. Coming to one. One. I think the look is, the look is wrong. Okay. The uh, yeah, I can't put lyrics up because Ready 3 3 three's up. Ready 5 5 Coming to one, one. Ready two, two. Ready six. A little bit of movement six, it's just too still. Ready five, five. Yeah. Ready six. Six. Stand by three. Three. You, what you were doing was just too still. It need, you need to be holding it, not resting it. Coming to five, five. Ready, two, two. Ready, three, ready, three. Go, three. Good job. Ready, five. Five. Ready, two. Two. Ready, six. Like that right there, it's too still. Coming to one, one. Ready, five, five. Ready, three. Three. Ready, two. Two.
Ready, five? Five. Let's go three, three. Ready, five, five. Ready, one. One. Ready, two, ready, two, two. Ready, five, five. Coming three, three. Ready, two, two. Go one, one. Ready, five. And five. It's ten by three. Three. Come two, two. Ready, five? Five. Coming to one, one. Ready, two, two. Ten by six. Six. Ready, one. And one. Ready, five. Five. Three, ready. Three. Ready, two. Two. So six, I would zoom in, try to cut out the wideness. Yeah. Coming to one, one. Stand by two. Actually, stand by six. Here we come, and six. Ready, three. Three. Two, two. Good job. Ready, three, stand by. Going to three. Three's up. Two, two. All right, go to your uh, go to your looks, and then where it says which one's live right now. Okay, so key lyrics. It doesn't have a theme. Key lyrics. That one, and then go to um, key lyrics. Click it, and then the next time, that's live. You, I think you got to make it live. If it is it live. And then make live. Okay. Now when you hit it, it should be right. I don't know. Maybe when I was changing. Uh, I think that's right. Let me see. Ugh. Hang on. I'm, I'm working through something. Oh, you took it down. Open 
Alright, coming to three. Three. Stay by five. Five. Holy Spirit, we love you. Stay by one. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. One. Don't just come and visit and leave. Come and visit and leave. God, we want you to stay. We want you to dwell. Ready, six. Remove all these things out of place. Six. Put you back in your rightful place. Stand by two. Come and dwell. God, we give you our gratitude. Two. Here we come six, here we come six, and six, stand by three. We depend on you, God. Three. all my words for sure. Cause I've got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? That did it good. Okay. Coming to two. Two. I could sing this song as I often do. Ready, five? Five. Ready, one? And you never Come on, one voice. One. Sing. So I Two, two. Stand by three. Three. Stand by one. Five, five. Let's go two, two. Ready six, ready six. Yeah, tilt up a little bit. Let's get some lights. Six. Ready five. Five. Ready, one, one. Ready, two, two. Ready, five. Let's go, three, three. And five, five. Ready two, ready two, two. Six, bring your ISO down a little bit. There you go, right there. Ready five, five. Ready three. Three, three's live. And one. Ready, five, stand by. Five. Ready, six, ready, six. And six. Ready, five. Five. Ready, one. One. Ready, two, two, stand by, three. Three. Ready, five. Five. Ready, six. Six. Who's the subject? Ready, two. Two. 
Stand by three. Three. Ready five, ready five. Five, stand by one. One. Ready three, ready three. Three. Ready six and six. See right there, it's too still. Give a little movement like it's like handheld. It just seems like it's on a tripod. Coming to five, five. Let's go one, one. Ready two, two. Stand by three, three. Ready, two, two. Ready, five, five. Let's go one, one. Ready, six, six. Ready, three. Three. Real ready five and five. Ready one. One. Good job. Here we come two, we come two, two. Ready five, five. Let's go three, three. Good job, good job. Let's go five, five. Ready, two, two. Ready, six, six, stand by three. Coming to three, three's live. Stand by five, five. Stand by three. And here's a crazy thing. This will, this will mess you up too. Even the ones who think in the moment they're atheists, even the ones who are cussing and cursing God. His three, goodness. stand That's, by six. Oh, guess what, what, guess what you still have? Six. So if you give me breath, I make a decision to give you praise. Come on, two, two. If I still have breath in my lungs, you're not finished with me. So instead of stealing it, I know I borrowed it. I'm giving it back to you, God. So with every hand lifted in this place, I promise it's not a thing, a power struggle with the microphone. It's, it's not that. There's something that happens when you get that revelation of something as simple as this. Ready, five, We're not five. Here for entertainment. We give you our breath. Stand 
to my three. Give you the breath inside of our lungs. It's three. It's a gift. We give it back to you. So just take a moment and use your breath to magnify the Lord. Come okay, on. it's fine. Basically, I was saying, like, your wide shots are too still. It looks like it's on a tripod. We want it to look like it does right now, where it feels more handheld. So, I mean, what you're doing right now is perfect. But those wide shots that you had just felt too still. Coming to two, two. Stand by five, stand by five. This will never happen again like this. So we recognize that you're here. Five. Stand by three. Three. Stand by six. Six. Ready, one. One. Ready, five. Truly here to seek your face. Five. Jesus, we make room. Stand by two. Come and take your rightful place. Two. Ready, three. We're not here to lean on feeling. Three. Stand by six. Six. Come on, this is our prayer tonight. Wild ones, we sing. We will make room. Ready, five. Come take your Five. We will make room. Ready, one. One. Ready, three, ready, three, three, ready, five, ready, five, five, here we come to two, stand by six, Three, three. Stand by five. It does look good. Here we go. Five, five. Ready, two. Two. Ready, three. Three. Ready, five. Five. Beautiful. Ready, two. Ready, two. Two. Stand by three. Three. Yeah, six. Uh, that kind of shot, zoom in close. Yeah, there you go. And then cut out the stage. Coming to two, two. Yeah, cut out the stage. Okay. Cut, cut out, cut out. Ready, five, five. There you go. Just focus on the kids, not the stage. Coming to two's up. 
can't hear me. Ready, five. Five. Ready, one. One. Going two, two. Ready, six, ready, six, ready, six. Now, ready, three, three. Coming to five, five. Go one, one. Here we go, two, two. Ready, five, five. Stand by three. Three. Ready, six. Six. Coming to five, five. Ready, three. Three, good job. Ready, two, two. Ready, five. Five. Let's go, one, one. Going to two, two. Ready, five, five. Stand by six. Good job, good job, and six. Push back in one, slow, coming to one. One's up. Stand by five. Jesus, we make room. Come and take our five, five's up. Three still alive. Ready to two. Stand by five. And 
path. Ready, three. Going to three. Three's live. It's ten by six. Six. Stand by five. Five. Ready one. One. Hey, Emily. Um, when you move back out to the center of the stage, is it possible to move his guitar stand over to the drum side? It's just right in the middle of the stage and it looks awful. Yeah, his stand, yes, it's back in the middle of the LED wall and it looks so goofy. If you're able to just move it over to where the drum is. Coming in three, three, three's live. Ready six, ready six, six. Okay, six is up. Ready three, ready three, three. Beautiful, thank you. Stand by five. Five. It's okay. Stand by two. Coming to two. Two's live. Oh, good job. Ready, five. And five, five's up. Just need to focus too. Stand by six. Six. That's such an amazing shot on five, the drums. It's just, ready, three. Let me wait. Coming to two, two. Ready, five. Five. Ready three, ready three. Three. Ready two, two. Good job, six ready, six ready. Six. Here we come two, two. Ready, five, five. Stand by three. Three, three. Good job. Ready, two, two. Stand by five. Five. Ready, one. One. Uh, six, come back and face the uh, singers. Yeah. We got two, two.
Ready six. And five, five. Here we come three, three. Ready five, five. Ready six, ready. Six. Go one, one. Ready, five. Five, stand by three. Yeah. Here we come, and three, three's live. Ready, two, ready, two, two. Ready, five. Five. Ready, three. Three, good job. Ready, two, ready, two, two. Keep backing out, Emily, keep backing out, backing out, backing out, there you go. Ready, five, ready, five, five. There you go. Ready, three. Three, good job. Ready, six. PK coming out, three's live, three's live. Three still live. Coming to one, one's live. Okay. You can just push the kids out of the way. They'll move. Ready, five. Five, five's up. Coming to three, three. Stand by two, two. Stand by five, five. Coming three, three. Coming two, two. Who's up? Glory to God. Just lift your hands and thank him for it. Thank him for the blood. It may seem odd to some people to talk about blood in a church service, but the writer of Hebrews said that if the blood of a and a goat, five. if the sprinkling of the ashes of an Old Testament heifer can sanctify to the purifying of the flesh, how much more Shall the blood of Jesus Two. Christ, who through the eternal spirit Stand by three. offered himself without spot before God, purge your conscience three. from dead works so that you can serve the living God. 
I know it's Friday night, but we don't have a moment to waste. I want to tell you right now, if you want to be holy, Two. if you want to be righteous, if you want to be justified and forgiven, there's only one way to get it done. It's not by counting rosaries. It's not by going through catechism class. There's only Ready, six. Six. Ready, three. Three. Come to two, two. Three, three. Um, let's see, yeah. Ready, six. Six. Um, one and two stay with pastor. Five and six, maybe uh, singers, band. Coming two, two. Ready, five, five, stand by three. And three. Good job, good job. As you run to your seat, I want you to find three or four people that I want go you to two. Put your zip code right there next to you. I know it was the blood. He said run to your seat. Come on, testify to some, to some brothers and sisters near you right now. Tell them, I know it was the blood. Oh, did that come back out? Come on, tell them, I know it was Oh, I didn't see that one. Um, yeah, if they don't move it, I'm sure they will. But if they don't, we need to move it. I know it was Coming to three? Three. Ready one, ready one, one. I want to tell you tonight in this conference. This so I don't have tripods uh, for roamers. We uh, we're going to make that change cool. just because our tripods are going to we're the here, generations building. But we do still have the, uh, uh, the dolly. So if you want to run that, you can. Um, that's probably more of a five. Thing because it's closer. A whole but lot of people in your generation testifying they want to be unholy. That's so up to I you. Know, is there ready, six, ready, six. Ready, six. Ready, six. Just bring your brightness down a little bit. There you go. And six. Anyone want to be justified? Stand by three. Forgiven. Come on. How many people want to be forgiven before you leave this property? I'm talking about just one. Three. Completely clean. Stand by two. I, if you can't stand because you're tired, you can stay seated. But I want everyone else that can stand to stand. And uh, we're incredibly blessed tonight to be here. How many know it's God that brought us here? It's God that brought us here. I want to set a couple of things. One. Just um, housekeeping things that are really Maybe push in just a hair. Receiving everything God wants I'm trying to, to get rid of that banding on the LED you wall. You can kind of see it probably on your screen, but keep pushing till it's. Yeah, that's good right there. Just a and it's you can give them more headroom. I don't it's care if it's feet or cut off. Just yeah. disconnect and run. Cool. There's tape all over this sanctuary. And we have come this weekend not just to receive 
word, although we need the word. Say amen, somebody. But we've come to receive an impartation. And we have done our very best to facilitate impartation in a room with 2,100 people. Just keep going until the Come speaker, on, the guest speaker, comes people. out. Here we go. Three, three. Stand Pastor by one. Gary Keelan, lift your hand, sir. Pastor Gary Keelan and his altar team are going to help us. But when it comes time for prayer, there's red tape all over this building. And if you want one. to receive prayer, when the time is right and the invitation is given, all you got to do is go stand on a red line. And people have fire tunnels, but at Redemption to the Nations, we have reverse fire tunnels. So instead of you walking through and a bunch of people laying hands on you, you stand on the tape and we walk through and lay hands on you. You'll catch it, I promise. Stand by six. And tonight, I believe that's going to happen. A couple of weeks ago, six. I was stand by in two. a playground. Uh, three, then two, ready? My toddler and my baby, and I got a phone call. Three. And I wasn't going to answer any phone calls because it was Stand by two. with my toddler and my baby and my wife. And uh, I got a phone call, and it said, John Kilpatrick. And I looked at Devin and I said, I two. have to answer this call. It's like Jesus calling me or something. I have to answer this call. How, how many have ever heard of the Brownsville Revival? In 1995, on Father's Day, a move of God began in Brownsville, Florida. And over the course of that five, six-year intense outpouring of the Holy Spirit, over four and a half million people came through the doors of Brownsville Assembly of God. And that movement and that revival were led by a pastor who God touched with a special kind of hunger I've not uh -huh. met in very many people in my life. I believe he is a father no. of revival in this generation. Now, when we have a conference, you have a choice. You can bring in the hip and the cool. You can try it. You can the cool put it on the there. The cool that are washed see, in the blood are on their way to heaven. Amen. But we're not living in a generation Ready where three. we need hip and cool. Uh, two's in the house and three is live. Hip and cool don't break the yoke. And hip and cool don't get devils cast out. And hip and cool don't run off principles. Stand by five. Powers. I got nothing wrong with hip and cool. A little bit brighter. But we're and dealing with five. some demons that are breathing down your neck and trying to confuse you about sexual Six identity. Six darker. And trying to confuse you about what revival looks like and trying to confuse you about how to get to God. And what we need to hear from. Two. Stand by six. Father in the faith. Who stood in rivers and walked in Six. glory that many people in this room have never experienced before. And so he calls me and I take the phone call and we're talking in a playground. And he Two. said, I heard you s said something about green lights. And the Lord had given me a word that green lights, we're going to see a green light in this generation. And what I didn't know is that he had been praying that very same week saying, God, I'm tired of red lights. Give us a green light. We didn't even know that. We didn't have that conversation. And when I was on the phone with him, Devin and I looked at each other. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him to come to Wild Ones. He was not even scheduled to be here. But when I asked him, he said, I think my calendar is free. And, and yeah. So Stand by. Just a moment, but let me tell you this. Five. This is whether you're a part of this church, Stand by this three. family or not. If you're in this building, you automatically become a people of honor. Three. Honor is the currency of the kingdom. Touch your neighbor and Stand by one. Honor Stand by one. The currency of the kingdom. And when you're in the presence of someone who has the ability by the Spirit of God to release a measure of something into your life that you'll never be the same once you receive Actually, it. Actually, let me when go to five that, first. I don't want people tweeting and, and Facebooking. Five, stand by one. Insta whatever. I, it's not time. This is one. a moment One's everywhere. to receive from the presence of the Lord. We have an amazing man of God, and I say that humbly to the glory of God. 
and he's a father. And in just a moment, when he walks to this pulpit, I want us to give a spiritual father who has prayed, who has broken Stand by six, one's in the house. Things off and six. For fire so that your generation and mine can know the glory of God. Stand by three. When he comes, I want you to honor him big time. And what else is amazing is this. I can't even go into the story. These stories are so important. Uh, let's do five. But in that revival, five. there was a worship leader that God raised up to shake the sound of worship in the church in the mid-90s. We were stuck and couldn't get out of a rut until Lyndall Cooley started singing, He has fire in his eyes and a sword in his hand, and he's riding a white horse across this land. One. Yeah, we were stuck until until we started singing songs about the blood again songs about the cross and we are honored equally honored to have a father of what i would call worship in revival in this house pastor linda cooley is in this place who was the worship leader of brownsville we're honored to have you sir In fact, I'm going to do something, Marlon. I, I don't know if you're even ready, Pastor Lindo, but I, I think maybe if you came to the piano. Go to three, you three. Could, uh, you could just take us into another song or two or whatever's on your heart of worship. Come on, how many know we got time for this? Touch it. Touch somebody near you and tell them we got time for this. I don't know why you're in a hurry. Come on, your friends that are not in here tonight, they're doing something else, but I don't know about you. I'd, I'd rather be nowhere else except right here. And one. I want Pastor Lindell to come and just sing until he feels the release. And Pastor John, whenever he looks at you and gives you that release and nod, you're going to come. And whenever Pastor John Kilpatrick approaches this pulpit, to deliver what is on his heart. He's going to talk about revival tonight. I can just tell you. And if you don't know what revival is and you've been hearing a lot about it and you're confused about the subject and wonder if it's still happening, put all that to rest. Because God's put someone in this room tonight to testify like a Joshua to your generation that the God of the Bible is still the God of revival. He's still moving. Come on, shake your neighbor and tell him he's still moving. I want you to lift your hands and begin to thank Coming God three. for what he's going to release into your life. Pastor and Linda's three's Linda, everywhere. Three's to everywhere. the Lord and lead us in worship. And whenever he is through, the next voice you hear is Pastor John Kilpatrick. And I want us to give God thanks. And I want us to honor this mighty man of God as he comes when he comes. Three's everywhere. Three's everywhere. Hallelujah. Ready five. Ready five. I want everyone just to. Five. Start lifting your voice. Two, you'll have to go in. Come on, saints, yep. all over this room. Lift up your voice. Two. Two is live. Uh, I don't want you to cheer. He, I don't want you to clap. He's soft. I want you to lift up your voice. The Bible says that the keep glory turning, of the Lord. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. That. Right there. Don't clap your hands and don't cheer. I want you to lift your voice. I want you to give your spirit. <laughs> See, your spirit wants, God is a spirit, and they that worship must worship in spirit, not instruments. This is useless for the glory. Your spirit releasing the sound of glory that resides in you is where the glory comes. It doesn't come with this stuff. None of it, no matter how good it is, it's coming from you. So I want you right now to take your passion for Jesus. The Bible says when they dedicated to Solomon's five. Temple, when the musicians and the people and the priests and the Levites made one sound, right, two come out just a little bit the glory of the lord came you need the glory tonight all right so i don't know and if you're used yep. to this there you go. but sing a new song in the key of Ready, three, right now come on three lift up your voice hallelujah come on lift up your voice lift up your voice all over this room lift up your voice Two. Voice, Come on, saints. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. We're not going to do it for you. All the way in the back. I can tell on your faces you aren't focused yet. 
Close your eyes, lift up your hands, and let your spirit come All right, two, you're in the house. Ready, three. Two, I'll just keep you in the house. And three, I'll get shots of crowd. Three, three's up. Good job. Six, why don't you turn completely and face the crowd that's next to you. There you go, so you got closer shots. Yeah. But we want we want tighter shots. Yeah, that's beautiful. Come yeah, there on, you go. More, more, more. Ready six. Let's maybe get. Are there any students over there? He doesn't get the preaching, the prophesying. He gets Coming to five, this five. Lift it up. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Ready six. Lift up your voice. Great is the Lord. Six, six is up. Great is the Lord. Stand by one. Stand by one. One, one's up. Holy, holy. I worship you, Jesus. Come on, he's here. Ready, three? Three? All right, six, you might need to raise your ISO just a little bit, just because you're out there. Yeah. Coming to two, two. Stand by six. And six, stand by five. We've got some ministry to pour on you. And five. We've got some worship for you. Um, because yeah, once you get focused there, three, I'm just a little close for me. Just keep coming out. Just, yeah. 